10,000 transactions per second with fees one one hundredth of a cent. These are the stats that the Hedera Hashgraph is boasting. Now, is this realistic? Hi there, my name is Guy, and in this video, I'm going to be taking an in depth look at Hedera Hashgraph. So, be sure to stick around. Now, quickly before kicking off, this is not investment advice. I'm no financial advisor and you know what to do. Your own research, of course. Also, if you're new here, welcome. Go ahead and subscribe to keep up to date with all our latest daily reviews. OK, all clear? Great. Let's get going on Hedera. Hedera Hashgraph has only been around for a little over a year, but it's already making a big noise in the industry. With its DLT, Hashgraph enables a method through which computers can communicate directly with one another to form an agreement on transactions. If this description sounds familiar, it's because it is attempting to redefine how the blockchain works. However, Hedera differentiates itself by using a unique consensus system with its own original protocols. As a result, Hedera is addressing the security, scalability, and efficiency issues that so many blockchain projects encounter. Now, that sounds like a pipe dream, right? Well, stay tuned so you can see for yourself how realistic this project is. The Hedera Hashgraph platform is very fast and very secure. It doesn't require a lot of computer power to maintain its network. This type of technology gives everyone the ability to use the service, run a node, or develop applications on the platform. Hedera was developed on top of the Hashgraph consensus platform, which was initially built for enterprise applications. The Hedera team has identified four primary services that are provided on its platform. First, Hedera offers fast payments with low fees. With Hedera, you can make payments using HBARs with or without the need for a middleman. This lowers costs and simplifies even the most complex payments. Second, the platform offers a tokenized smart economy that makes use of smart contracts. With this economy, Hedera allows users to perform atomic swaps and create assets, along with several other capabilities. Third, users on the Hedera platform can create and manage their files with a distributed storage system. The file service feature can behave as a way to give or revoke credentials as needed. And last, but definitely not least, is the Hedera consensus service. With it, users can write transactions for a cost-effective and scalable solution. This allows them to manage their supply chain, audit data, and manage orders, all from within one platform. With these services, the Hedera platform provides several benefits to those who use it. So let's take a look at some of those benefits. One significant benefit of Hedera that we've already touched on is its performance. The platform claims that it is very fast and its only limitation is the bandwidth of the network members. Hedera says that it can handle more than 10,000 transactions per second. Now to put that into context, Bitcoin can process around seven transactions per second, Ethereum about 12, and Visa about 1,700. So 10,000 is pretty mind-blowing. Another benefit the Hedera platform offers is its security. This is thanks to their unique Hashgraph consensus mechanism, which is Asynchronous Byzantine Fault Tolerant, or ABFT. With this consensus mechanism, the network can still handle 40 nodes as long as it's less than a third of all those nodes. When consensus is achieved, everyone in the community knows in real time, which means it cannot be compromised. As a result, Hedera provides resistance to malicious nodes and DDoS attacks, even if some of the nodes on the network are down. Additionally, Hedera's hashgraph states that it is more secure than a blockchain consensus, since it does so through a system that provides fair access, fair timestamps, and fair ordering. Hedera says its hashgraph is fair because it does not give special permissions to a specific miner or leader to help determine consensus. Instead, it is determined based on a voting process which allows for the nodes to democratically and collectively establish consensus. And one last benefit of the Hedera platform that we'll mention is the stability that it offers. 
It does this by using technical controls that do not allow for competing platforms which might create uncertainty or confusion. To ensure that any software changes on the network are made only by Hedera and its governing body. Anyone who has an invalid software version will not have the ability to modify or edit the hash graph. Even though the Hedera hash graph is open source, the governing council must give consent for any updates. Additionally, even though the platform does not require a license for any apps that run on the Hedera platform, it does require one for permissioned ledgers based on the Hedera technology. So, we've covered some of the services available with Hedera and we've discussed a few of the benefits that the platform offers. But how the heck does the Hedera hash graph work? Way back at the very beginning of this review, we briefly mentioned the virtual voting and gossip protocol that Hedera uses. These are part of the data structure the project uses called a directed acyclic graph or DAG. Let's take a few minutes and dig a little further into these DAG components. We'll start with virtual voting. Now the concept itself is based on voting, however, Hashgraph has a mechanism that's a little more sophisticated. Virtual voting enables the Hedera network to run a voting algorithm without the need to actually send any voting messages. We'll talk more about the gossip protocol in a moment, but through that protocol, the history of all transactions is shared amongst the nodes. This means the network has the ability to determine the total order of events based on the function of the hash graph to get similar answers. At that point, every node can come to an agreement using the validity of every transaction. With this type of voting algorithm, the network can create honesty and transparency among the nodes while needing only a small amount of bandwidth. The second piece of Hedera's Hashgraph is the Gossip Protocol. Hashgraph uses its Gossip Protocol to disseminate information throughout a network in a quick and efficient manner. The Gossip Protocol allows for a node, let's call it node A, to communicate and exchange all information it has with another node, node B, within the network. This method is then repeated throughout the entire network. The speed of the process increases until all nodes in the network have the information. Every event in the network stores the fact that node A has established a gossip sync. This is done because node A shared everything it knew with node B. An event on the Hashgraph network consists of a piece of the transaction, the time span of the event, two hashes of the events below, and a digital signature. Instead of gossiping about a single transaction, the protocol allows for the system to gossip about gossip. This means all historical events are gossiped throughout the network as well. So if members have a slightly varying version of newer events, they'll quickly reconcile these versions by continuing to gossip with one another. As a result, there will come a point when all nodes have the exact same events lower down in the hash graph. So as you can see, the Gossip Protocol aids in optimizing the communication process on the Hedera platform. This provides the ability for the network to scale along with ensuring consistency on the platform. If you haven't noticed yet, the Hashgraph technology is significantly different than blockchain in several ways. So let's discuss a few of those. For starters, their network structures vary greatly. Blockchain, as its name suggests, is a chain of blocks. Some people think of it as a tree that needs pruning as it grows. Comparatively, Hashgraph is more like a tree that has the branches woven back into the body of the tree itself. When it comes to consensus models on each network, blockchain offers such options as proof of work and proof of stake. Hashgraph uses its virtual voting and gossip protocol to achieve consensus. Both are trustless, however, Hashgraph focuses on a fairness model where blockchain does not. For example, a miner on a proof-of-work blockchain can delay transactions by placing them into future blocks. Hashgraph has a consensus timestamp, which keeps users from changing the order in which the transactions are completed. Now, if all of this seems like a lot to digest, we've only scratched the surface. So if you want to do any further digging, please visit the links we've provided below. Now, let's get into the Hedera token. While the token did not have an ICO, it did have a crowd sale in August of 2018 with a target of $20 million. 
The project reached its target in only a few weeks. The project has a total supply of 50 billion coins, with 636 million currently in circulation. Hedera, with ticker HBAR, saw an all-time high of 42 cents just a little over a month ago on September 17th. It dropped off earlier this month, but seems to have settled in the 30 to 35 cent range. HBAR is the native cryptocurrency for Hedera, which serves as a utility token to fuel the platform. Token holders using the platform have three fees they have to pay. Node fees, service fees, and transaction fees. Those who hold HBAR can use Hedera's proof-of-stake public network to stake their tokens to a specific node on the network. Doing so adds weight to votes on transactions as consensus is reached. Token holders are then rewarded accordingly. But that's enough about tokens and price. What about the team behind the Hedera project? Well, Hedera is replete with highly qualified individuals who have plenty of in-depth knowledge about the world of cryptocurrency. These team members offer experience ranging from tech to finance to government. Dr. Limon Baird and Mance Harmon co-founded the project. However, it's Baird that invented the Hashgraph algorithm. He brings more than two decades of experience in the startup and tech industries, plus a PhD in computer science, which he earned at Carnegie Mellon. Mans Harmon also has plenty of experience, both in the tech sector and with government agencies. The pair have been together for more than 20 years, founding two other startups before Hedera. I won't go into the rest of the team members here, but they are equally as qualified. You can read more about them on Hedera's website if you're interested. Moving on though, let's take a look at the market for HBAR. If you want to get your hands on some HBAR, you can buy, sell, or trade the token on Binance, OKX, Bittrex, and several other exchanges. While the token doesn't do as much volume as other high-profile cryptocurrency, it does do over a million dollars a day on both Binance and OKX. It's mostly traded with Bitcoin or Ethereum, but there are a few exchanges that pair the token with USDT. Given the interest in the token over the past few months, turnover on exchanges such as Binance has increased substantially. If we take a look into the Bitcoin HBAR order books, there appears to be relatively strong liquidity with reasonable depth, although large block orders could face slippage. Once you have your tokens, you'll want to have a secure place to keep them. Hedera has its own mobile wallet, along with a few other recommendations for places to store your HBAR. We've provided a link to these storage options below. So, there is a lot of information to digest with Hedera, a really multifaceted project. However, here is my final take on the project. I think it does have definite potential, but is still quite away from becoming a significant player in the industry. Their revolutionary consensus method sounds like it could be a game changer in a sea of bloated blockchains. However, the network is currently only in beta, and as we have seen with Ethereum, nothing tests a network as much as running it in a live environment. Also, even though the project claims that it solves the scalability problem that hampers the crypto industry, Hashgraph only shows a solution for a number of transactions. Can it also scale the number of nodes it can support on its network? This has yet to be seen. Could centralization be a concern with this project? The governing council still has a final say on any updates that are proposed for the network. Sure, this means that they can verify the quality, robustness, and security of potential updates, but it's still a centralized decision. And as we know, centralization is often viewed with suspicion in the crypto world. And finally, there's always the looming problem of adoption. Superior technology alone, which, make no doubt, Hedera does offer, is no guarantee that others will use it. There are a great deal of really exciting cryptocurrencies out there with paltry adoption statistics. Either way, I'm very excited to see how this project performs in the future. For now, it's too soon to draw a definitive conclusion on where this project is headed. Wow, that was a long one. But the most important question remains. What do you guys think of Adera? Are there any other projects you want me to review? I'd love to know in the comments. Also, if this video was to your liking, then do some liking. Your support means a lot. 